Hey guys, let's learn about add log fields. What is this add log field? If you look at the name of this, it is talking about adding a field to the log file. Add log fields, right? So before we understand how this activity works, we should understand where the log files are. To see the log files, all you do hit on the control plus L key, control and L key. And this is going to bring you to the log file location. And if you look at for every day, there are four sets of logs. For example, for 12th, there are four set of logs. For November 11th, there are again four sets of logs. Again, for the 10th, I have got again four sets of logs. Now, what we would be, let's have a quick look. Okay, the studio has uh, information related to packages and the execution. So right now, what is the project name or the process name? Expo Hub Problem Solving Demo, right? And if you see, the same has been logged over here and more details related to the execution. Okay, that would be found in the execution log. Similar way, if you go back and look the DB Server Studio, it has got collection of various error, error related logs. Again, the analyzer has got couple of error related logs. Okay, similar way, what we'll be interested today about the execution log related to our execution. What you have executed at what time have you executed? What was the problem with that? What has been so all these related details will be available into it. So, first of all, to work on the add log field, what we will do, I am going to remove this entire thing. Okay, I have completely removed the execution log. Now, let me save it and close it okay so the execution log is completely blank now now what i'm going to do before i use the add log file uh, field let me use a simple write line activity okay after using the write line activity let me write welcome to expo hub okay and let's run it okay run it and once the execution is complete, so the execution is complete, let's close this and try to open the execution log. So what happened if you expand this execution log, what you are looking, you are seeing, this is the project which has been executed. And then because right line, right, when we are using a right line, it should add a trace into the log. So let's see if it is available or not. In case it is not available, I will try to run it welcome to expo hub look at this do you see a trace has been added welcome to expo hub understood in case while you run it for the first time you have deleted and and you did not find try to run it once again and try to check this trace you will see whatever message you have typed that has been added into it okay fine but what if i would like to add certain more fields as per my need this is just doing as per uh, the default needs of the log requirement wherein it is having the machine name it has the robot name and all those relevant informations by default what it's supposed to log but there will be times wherein you wanted to add your own fields okay for example for this i'm going to drag and drop the add log field i'll go to the field option and click on the collection and here let me say i'm going to add I'll create an argument called username and let me add something called Rakesh Kumar. Okay. And then I'll create another argument and I will say user ID and I will say Rakesh Kumar 12345. Okay. I'm entering a user ID into this field. So let me put it in the double code fine so i want this two fields to be logged every time this has been executed so if you execute this now okay you will see a new field will get added okay so the execution is complete let's close this and try to go back to the you can do Control l and try to open this once again now if you look at the new fields that you have added so these are called the log fields so I hope now this is making sense add log fields. So it has added a new field as per you have defined as per the user 
defined field has been added and its value has been added getting it so that is the use anywhere in your project you would like to add some extra fields uh, custom defined fields into the log file that's where you can go with the add log field i hope this video would help you to understand what is the use or to what range you can use this or when you can use this with this example this should be clear thank you so much guys we're going to come up with more such interesting videos and if you are new to our channel please do visit our expo hub youtube channel a home page and click on the videos we have got ample of videos on ui path scroll to the bottom if you are a newbie go to the bottom start from the very first video and keep coming up or else you can also go to the playlist and in the playlist we have got so many videos as per the chapter wise so in case you are starting one of the chapter you can click on this playlist and go through various examples that we have shown uh, in in the playlist so please do take benefit of all of this thank you guys we are going to meet again in the next video take care bye bye